A historic legal challenge could force Facebook to sell off subsidiaries Instagram and WhatsApp. For more on this groundbreaking lawsuit, let's bring in business in Vancouver's Tyler Orton. Tyler, good morning to you. So who launched this legal challenge and what is it demanding? Well, this is coming from both American federal regulators as well as nearly every single American state just south of the border. Now, the social media giant is being accused of abusing its dominance to unfairly crush smaller rivals. Now, as part of this twin lawsuit that's been launched by all these American authorities, the U.S. Federal Trade Commission is seeking an injunction that could result in Facebook having to divest some of its assets. Notably, this could mean mean selling off subsidiaries like WhatsApp and Instagram. For users, this could actually be a quite a good thing when it comes to data privacy and security, especially when everybody's kind of collect, getting all their information collected. And it also mean more competition moving forward. So I think regulators have been building up to this for a long time. This is going to be unfolding over a few years, though. Okay, we'll continue to keep a close eye on this major development. Meantime, let's shift gears to a BC biotech company that's played a big role in developing the Pfizer vaccine that's now being approved by Health Canada. Very fascinating stuff that was being developed right here with Acuitas Therapeutics, a BC-based company, as you say. And what it relies on with regards to the Pfizer and BioNTech vaccine is the messenger RNA or mRNA technology that provides instructions to our body cells that generate an immune response. But the mRNA can easily be broken down by our body, which is where Acuitas' nanotechnology comes in. It essentially acts as the delivery vehicle to ensure that the mRNA travels through the body and into our cells unharmed. So it's an absolutely critical component to the vaccine that's just been approved by Health Canada as of Wednesday, and it was all done right here in the Lower Mainland. All right, Business in Vancouver is Tyler Orton with two fascinating stories for us this morning. Thank you so much as always. Thank you, Nita.